feel like I didn't accomplish nothing in the sport of boxing yet. I think that is very early for me still. I think that I got a lot more to conquer and a lot of divisions to win titles in and solidify my name as a household name. When I was a casual, I thought as a casual, I spoke like a casual, and I looked at boxing like a casual. But when I became a hardcore, I put away all those casual things. This is Michael Rogers, and welcome to Bodywork Boxing. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Bodywork Boxing. I'm fresh off the way in. It's fight night eve. We got Shakur Stevenson, who I call the definition. No explanation needed against Oscar Valdez. At the 130 pound division, the WBO and the WBC belts are on the line. They went and put a ring on it. So it's for the ring magazine, and that's normally when number one and number two, when the two top dogs fight, that's normally when the ring magazine is up for grabs. The chess games have already begun. What I believe, I think, should cause Stevenson is actually going to make a statement. Whether that's a period or an exclamation mark, it's going to be based on whether or not Oscar Valdez can lower Shakur Stevenson into a brawl. Make it ugly, make it nasty. You know, it's a lot of things that's being said. I keep hearing the narrative from Valdez said it, you know, if he's gonna run or whatever. All these comments are, are getting flooded, trolls flooding, talking about, is, is Shakur gonna be on his bicycle, bicycle? Is he gonna run? That's cold for, are you gonna stand there and let me hit you like a pinata. What they fail to realize is that Shakur Stevenson has a very different dark side. And this is 2022, like Coach Calvin be saying, is the year of punishment. And what they don't realize about Shakur Stevenson, and one of the reasons why he draw the Mayweather comparison is because of his cat-like reflexes. He can get in there and hit you, and by the time you go to hit him back, he's not there. He really could have been called the ghost. I like to call him the definition. Hit and not get hit. I say Tank Davis is right now. Shakur Stevenson is the future. Go back and check the videos. I've been on these guys. Mike, what you think going to happen? What I believe is going to happen is that Shakur Stevenson is actually going to start to embarrass Oscar Valdez. He's going to be able to jab him whenever he wants. Once he gets accustomed to the jab, he's going to go to the body. I think he's underrated, and this is body work boxing. He's underrated at how he he's able to go to the body, upstairs, downstairs, you know, left or right. And I think he's going to just start um, hitting him with the left. Everybody keeps talking about Oscar Valdez, um, bad left hook, and, you know, they asking is, can... Shakur Stevenson's chin get tested and they saying oh he got so much to prove because in this biggest fight in the Olympics you know we talking about his people now talking like this about Shakur Stevenson I believe that Shakur Stevenson is trying to make a name for himself he knows that his stardom is on tonight he's been promoting himself he's been getting in work 
He came in at 130 right on the button. Oscar Valdez came in at 129.6, I believe. So we have a fight. I think Oscar Valdez must lower Shakur into a fight. He must not lose his composure. I think that's what it is. I think Shakur Stevenson had been poking and prodding about the, the juice and no juice in my boy. He been poking at him saying, you wanted Navarrete. Oscar Valdez like, yeah, hey, man, you've been saying my name. Like, you've been saying my name, so I'm basically going to come down here. Shakur Stevenson made a poke at the whole staff saying that he had Canelo right there beside him the whole time. And even though he gets a chance to spar back and forth with Bud, when he get in the ring, he feel like he's beating Canelo, Reynoso, Valdez, the whole camp. So he talking to that big boy stuff. He put on his big boy pants. And Oscar Valdez, um, I'm not going to say he looks nervous, but he's not being overconfident. He's basically taking the, I'm going to let my hands do the talking when we get in that ring. So what I believe is um, Shakur is just going to embarrass him. A la Mayweather Canelo type fight. Um, and Oscar Valdez is going to have to get into Shakur's head because of the back and forth for how they were looking at each other in the way in, how they, you know, Valdez stood up and then Shakur got in front of him at the end, you know, and it was like a back and forth. So, you know, Shakur is very competitive. Oscar Valdez, very competitive. Oscar Valdez has to actually show that he is legit because of the whole Burchelt PED and then um, the Conceicao robbery, you know, when he had his best performance and then his worst performance, one of his worst performances. He has a lot to prove as well. I think he, he can't lose his composure. Um, I would probably be, depending on, I don't know, depending on how often and early Shakur starts landing, um, he's definitely going to have to ba box off the back foot at some point. He's going to have to, especially once Shakur starts uh, feeling like, you know, he can get in and get out at will and, you know, he gets, you know, he gets working and get going. Definitely going to have to be able to box off the back foot. And, you know, maybe he can step back and catch Shakur with an uppercut or something like that. Um, but other than that, he wants to brawl, even though I think that Shakur is a little bit better than advertised when it comes to inside fighting. He likes the inside fight. Either way, we got a good fight. Bob Aaron made his little comments about Bud. You know, it's a lot of hoopla and there is a lot of, um, it's a lot of noise around this fight. It's only competing with the Taylor Serrano fight over there on the zone. And there's no conflict in times. So we got a treat. The boxing gods have blessed us. Who gonna win the ring magazine and become the unified 130 champ with all the marbles? Who's gonna break into onto that next round? I think it's your core. Like, comment, and subscribe. And that here, we don't take things for face value. We do that body work. All right, I believe you. But my tummy gun don't. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. I do what I do, and he knows what I'm about to tell him right now. It's Mr. Keep running your mouth. That's what I do. I just feel like I'm the champ, and at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just fighting my fuck. It doesn't matter. Inside, outside, I can just fight. So I just feel like if you, if you get down to the wire, and 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 you get down to the w